Since the beginning of the industry, there has always been a high demand for electric vehicles. With only a small number of automobile manufacturers contributing to EV manufacturing in the early days, it was difficult to meet the demand in the new industry. As a result, startups such as Tesla took full advantage of this situation by seizing the market and expanding rapidly outside of the US. That was the reason why Tesla was successful in meeting the market's demand, while also remaining cost-effective throughout the process. In the present era, global expansion has become a necessity for any company wishing to gain a larger share of the pie, and Lucid intends to fulfill this requirement. In today's video, we'll talk about Lucid's expansion and studio in Germany, as well as their global go-to-market strategies and delivery dates that are closer than ever. Stay tuned for that! Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. International Expansion Roadmap Lucid Group announced on social media on September 10, 2021 that Lucid Studio will open in Munich, Germany, which will be the company's first studio outside of the United States. This announcement represents a significant step forward for the company, which now has substantially more capital than it did previously, allowing it to grow and expand more quickly while still maintaining its innovative and competitive edge. The company is here to stay, thrive, and is laying ground for future expansion. Despite the fact that Lucid's foreseeable global expansion plans only include Europe and the Middle East and are underwhelming when compared to competitors' presence in 40 countries across the globe, it has been strategically planned to maximize value and support the company's long-term expansion. The company's overall operations are currently centered in the United States, with the majority of its service centers and Lucid Studios located in the same country as its manufacturing facility and headquarters. And Lucid's decision to launch the Lucid Air in the United States first has come at an opportune time, as the electric vehicle sector in the US is beginning to experience pent-up demand. It also makes sense to locate a production line closer to the European market, especially since Lucid Motors is opening a studio in Germany and will most likely begin taking reservations in 2022 for the European market. This is the most logical course of action because it would allow Lucid Group to better serve the surrounding areas while also lowering its logistical costs. Europe is currently the world's second largest EV market trailing only China in terms of sales volume and is expected to account for 42% of global EV sales. The adoption rate of electric vehicles in the region has continued to rise in the first half of 2021, with nearly one in every five passenger cars sold in the region being a plug-in hybrid. Global Go-To-Market Strategy Using a go-to-market strategy similar to Tesla's, Lucid will use retail stores as well as an online sales platform to sell its products directly to consumers in the marketplace. There are currently 13 Lucid Studios across the US, with one in Canada. Another 12 stores are expected to open across the US in the coming months, with plans to expand into Europe and the Middle East in 2022. Lucid has been in business for quite some time now. The transition away from traditional auto dealer sales will allow the venture to further increase brand awareness by creating a sophisticated and relaxed environment for customers to shop. Lucid hopes that by placing showrooms on bustling shopping streets and in busy shopping centers, it'll be able to alleviate the pressure to purchase that customers typically feel in sales-centric dealerships and instead provide a streamlined and instructive space for them to learn about the brand and interact with the technology that the company has to offer. Deliveries are closer than ever. Early in the morning on September 20, 2021, customers who reserved the Lucid Air Dream Edition received an email with information that the day has come and it was now time to verify and confirm their orders. Customers were directed to log into their Lucid account to confirm whether their new Dream Edition is a range or performance model, as well as the exterior color and wheel type. 
a member of the Lucid team will be in touch with the customer to individually guide them through the ordering process. Lucid is getting closer to completing its deliveries and is anticipated that those who have made reservations will receive their vehicles sometime in October. During the production preview week, it's reasonable to anticipate that we will receive official word on when Lucid Motors intends to begin delivering cars to customers, if not sooner. In the meantime, there has been speculation that Lucid would deliver vehicles to a select group of customers during the production preview week. This is a possibility and makes logical sense. However, this is only speculation, and just to be on the safe side, one can anticipate that customers will begin receiving their vehicles in October. Coming to the conclusion, despite the fact that Lucid is currently operating on a much smaller scale than Tesla in terms of global footprint, autonomous driving development, and sales, the company has one of the highest growth potentials among other electric vehicle startups, and it attributes these growth prospects to its technical prowess and global expansion plans, which were discussed in the preceding chapters, as well as the cost efficiencies realized through its vertically integrated business model and platform sharing production strategy. Considering Lucid's wide range of distinct competitive advantages, which include having the longest range capability and one of the fastest charge times amongst any other passenger EV currently on the market, and its global expansion plans, investors have begun to wonder whether the company could become the next Tesla, both in terms of the company's operations and in terms of its underlying stock performance. To be sure, Lucid is not the only enticing contender in the global electric vehicle race. In fact, despite having a lower valuation than other EV manufacturers, the electric vehicle startup currently has one of the highest growth potentials, whereas Tesla's prospects may have already been fully priced based on our recent analysis of the stock, as well as consensus expectations. Considering that the Lucid Air passed the first in-depth review conducted by Motor Trend with flying colors and that delivery of the vehicle is rapidly approaching, Lucid presents itself as a promising contender in the luxury electric vehicle sector. Aside from expanding its EV lineup and diversifying its revenue streams, Lucid has an aggressive growth strategy that puts it in a strong position to take advantage of the emerging EV sector's growth opportunities and outperform competitors in the luxury EV market. I'm curious as to what you think. Do you believe that Lucid, even at its low valuation to start with, could be a worthy contender in the luxury EV market? Is the plant in Germany the beginning of the company's European expansion? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. According to Rob, who commented on our video on smart EV investment, Chinese EV manufacturers are undervalued as a result of Chinese fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and that their stock should be valued at least 50% higher than it is currently. People who had made significant financial investments in these stocks are gradually recouping their losses. Without a doubt, Chinese manufacturers such as NIO and Xpeng are among the most potent companies in the electric vehicle industry, and it's difficult not to consider investing in them. However, as Rob stated, because of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt surrounding Chinese government actions, it is difficult to commit a significant portion of the investment in these companies. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.